hello students today we will continue with our discussion on memory organization in this video i will discuss introduction of cache memory so cache is a small memory in comparison of main memory but it is very fast means it is designed in a way that the cpu access to cache memory is faster than the main memory because cache is fast obviously it is expensive also and therefore we keep only a small cache in comparison of main memory so here this is the cpu this is cache and this is main memory whenever cpu require something from main memory it will first see in the cache memory if copy of that is available in cache it is good and it is called a uh, hit and when cpu want something which is not available in cache then it will go to main memory and will take from here this is called a miss so here i read that cache is a small fraction of main memory but it is very fast and therefore it is expensive too and because it is expensive we keep it smaller a large fraction of memory request will be found in cache memory because of the locality of reference means whenever cpu requires something most of the time it will be there in cache memory and this happens due to one special property of computer programs which is called locality of reference cache memory reduces the total ex execution time of the program so cache makes the operation faster now to understand what is locality of reference let us see how a program in computer runs a co program runs or flows in a straight line fashion that when we run a program instruction number from main memory for example is uh, coming from location number 1 then next will be from 2 next will be from 3 and so on if there are loops then a certain lines of code is executed again and again so if we move from say line number 1 to 5 and there is a loop at 5 then we will be running 6 7 8 and then again 5 6 7 8 5 6 7 8 and so on similarly if there is a subroutine call then the program transfers to some other location like say 100 and executes few lines there say 101 2 3 4 and then returns back if the same subroutine is called again then the same lines of code is executed again so in this fashion what happens that at a given instance of time so here it is mentioned that when a program loop is executed the cpu repeatedly refers to the set of instructions in memory every time a given subroutine is called its set of instructions are fetched from a small local memory that means in a given short period of time when cpu generates some address that uh, i need some data or instruction from memory main memory then next instruction will be from nearby location only so that is the property of programs so every program computer program has this property that if currently an instruction or data from location x is demanded by cpu there is a high probability that next time the it will demand from the nearby location only so here i read the locality of reference over a short interval of time the address is generated by a program refers to a few localized area of memory frequently rest of the memory is accessed infrequently so this gives the idea of cache memory how if the active portion of the programs and data are placed in a fast and small memory the average memory access time can be reduced such a fast small memory is called cache memory so the idea of cache memory from comes from one property of each computer program computer programs Uh, shows a characteristic of locality of reference and locality of reference mean means in a short time interval 
the cpu references are local to a small portion of memory and not the complete program so this is what the cache memory is this is organization this shows that computer programs flow in straight lines sometimes there are loops and subroutines and when then these are executed they all refer to a small portion of memory or local portion of memory small part of the program this is called locality of reference and due to locality of reference we can keep a small portion of program which is active now in a small and faster memory which is cache memory now here we see how the cache memory basic operations are performed when cpu need to access memory the cache is examined first so if cpu requires something cache is examined first if word is found there in the cache it is called a hit means we will say that oh the word is found in cache it's a hit and if the word is not found in cache then it is taken from main memory and this is called a miss so this is called a miss whenever there is a miss then a block of words is transferred from main memory to cache memory in case of miss so whenever there is a miss a block of words is transferred from main to cache memory the block size can be 0 to 16 words so if we transfer a block then there is a high probability that the nearby uh, locations will be accessed in the next reference <laughs> how we measure the performance of cache memory so to measure the performance of cache memory we use the term hit ratio so the hit ratio is number of hits divided by total number of cpu references so total cpu references means how many times cpu have requested the memory access to the memory so total number of hits total number of miss if you sum up so hit plus misses that is total cpu references so hits divided by cpu references is called hit ratio hit ratio is generally observed it is observed that hit ratio is nearly 0 0.9 or higher so when experimentally it is observed that yes the cpu ratio is 0 0.9 it also proves that the programs have a property of locality of reference if this property would not be there then this much hit ratio uh, uh, experimentally cannot be noted so the average access time how to compute here we take an example suppose the cache access time is 100 nanosecond and main memory access time is 1000 nanosecond and let us assume that the hit ratio is 0.9 that means 90 percent cases there is a hit 10 percent cases there is a miss now you see that all the requests will go to cache memory first so 1 into 100 100 is cache memory time so all requests are going to cache so this is taken as 1 into 100 this much time will be uh, spared at cache plus the request which are not satisfied here so out of one request 0.9 is not satisfied at cache so 1 minus 0.9 that is 0 0.1 that will go to main memory so 0.1 into 1000 so this is mem main memory access time so if we solve it this comes to be 200 nanoseconds so you can see that the average access time is generally closer to the cache memory and not the main memory due to high hit ratio <laughs> basic characteristics of a cache includes fast access time it is faster expensive and smaller memory the other thing is transformation of data from main memory to cache memory it's called mapping process transformation of data from main to cache means our main our program resides in main memory a part of that program is brought to the cache memory you remember that cpu will always give the address of main memory that i need some data from this address that that address will be of main memory 
So that is called a physical address. So data will always be demanded by CPU from main memory. And we have transferred that data, a copy of that data is also available in cache memory. So we want that CPU should get that data from cache itself. So what we need to do is that uh, uh, data of what address of main memory is transferred to what address of the cache memory that mapping is required. So that is called an address mapping process. So whenever CPU generates main memory address, if data is there in cache, we must know that where that data is uh, available in the cache memory. For this purpose, we do the mapping process. There are three types of mapping procedures used in organization of cache memory called associative mapping, direct mapping and set associative, which we will be taking in our uh, few uh, upcoming videos. So this is an introductory part of the cache memory. Thank you very much. These are the references.